to say good day to you this day of your time. How are you all? All right. I will take that as an okay. First and foremost, once again, we would like to thank each and every one of you individually and all of you together collectively for the co-creation of this interaction with our civilization in this way. Each and every time you provide us an opportunity to interact with you this way, we are provided a gift by you to allow us to experience through you all that many more ways that creation has of expressing itself. And so we thank you for the expansion of our understanding of creation. In return for the gift that you are giving us this day of your time, we would now like to discuss information that we have titled The Apprentice, The Adept, and The Alchemist. The idea of this story of transformation, this story of ascension, this analogy, if you will, takes account of different states of being that can be, shall we say, represented in a simple analogy by ice, water, and steam. Ice being the apprentice, water being the adept, steam being the alchemist. Different states of the same material, different frequencies of energy, very different in terms of what they are capable of doing, how they appear, how they are able to interact with reality, but essentially the same material. As you, on your journey, allow yourself to go through these stages of apprenticeship and become an adept, and finally allow yourself to ascend to the vibration, in a sense, of the alchemist, Please understand that it is not about running away from material reality. It is about truly appreciating what each stage has to offer and utilizing it as fully as you can. For there is absolutely nothing that is not spiritual about physical reality. It's all in how you relate to it. It's all in how you apply it. It's all in how you use it. Let's look at this story of these three different states of matter. The idea of ice in your apprenticeship. Things may seem to be solid, rigid, frozen, static. May not seem to necessarily always be moving at an accelerated rate. Yet, if you understand that everything happens in perfect timing, you will allow yourself to truly begin to appreciate the qualities of ice. Now, while it is true, that there is an ability to appreciate the qualities of anything, there is also, in the sense of the timing, an understanding and a sense when it is time to move beyond a certain state, when it is time to ascend, when it is time to increase your frequency, your vibration of energy, and move to and become a different state. But while you are in a particular state, maximize your ability to truly utilize that state, appreciate that state, apply that state. For example, even though as we said, while you are in an apprenticeship, learning something new, you have the ability to feel that things are not moving fast, like ice, moving slowly, static, frozen, seemingly, there is still movement, but of a different kind. The analogy of a glacier can be utilized here. For even though a glacier seems to be moving very slowly. It is very powerful. Nothing, in a sense, can stand in its way. It will meander through valleys, carving out valleys, carving out riverbeds, depositing boulders, huge amounts of stone, gouging out the land, reshaping the landscape, setting up the foundation for the reality level to come. So, look at ice and the power that it has, even though it may seem to be moving very slowly, the power it has to reshape the reality, to move mountains, to create new riverbeds, new flows, new pathways in life. Feel that power as you dig deep into the understanding of apprenticeship, 
for all you are learning in every endeavor that you do that may seem to be new has an innate power to carve out a new landscape, a new reality, a new world for you. Deeply appreciate that slow movement and its ability to reshape that landscape, for you will know it is only laying out what will be needed in the next state. For when you allow yourself to increase the passion within you and provide that heat that will slowly begin to melt that ice into water, you will then begin to appreciate that as you learn to become the adept, as you learn to flow and not be quite so static, not quite so frozen, you will then feel the trickles going down into those newly carved valleys and riverbeds, into those newly carved lakes. And you will allow yourself to be able to see, to experience, to appreciate that then all the water that the ice has been now transformed into, filling up those rivers, lakes, and so forth, now are places for new life to form, for life to be nurtured in, in the streams and the lakes, in those now verdant valleys that are now fed by those streams so they can grow new life in the forests and the flowers and the meadows that surround those beautiful bodies of water, those beautiful babbling brooks, as you say. And you have become the supporter of the life that would not have a place to go had you not, as ice, as the glacier, carved out those niches for them, created the landscape where those kinds of environments could take hold where those new systems could grow and spread out from there and create richness in your life and flow in your life, flowing into the greater sea of your consciousness and providing sustenance for all forms of life that rely upon that ability to flow. And thus then, even as you begin to truly appreciate the support that you have created, with your flow into water, even when all the ice has melted and you have become the adept, <clears throat> realize then that as the water in those bodies is again heated by the passion of your being, by your truth, your excitement, by that sun that illuminates your way, your world, your reality, your being, thus then and causes that water to evaporate into vapor, into steam, thus creating the atmosphere around the entire world that supports all forms of life in one way, shape, or form. Thus then the alchemist contains within itself the ability to hold all life, to support all life, all views, all realities, all experiences within its being, within its envelope, within its bubble within its atmosphere. Thus then you have expanded to a new level of reality, a new level of expression, a new level of being, of a very high frequency, flitting to and fro as the winds, moving, nurturing, bringing, exchanging nutrients from one area to another, seeds from one area to another, allowing new life to travel great distances within the atmosphere of your alchemy. Thus, understand that no matter where you are in life with any particular endeavor, be it what seems to be the ice, the glacial flow in that sense of the apprentice, the greater flow of the adept, or the free flow of the alchemist and the winds, there is an opportunity to truly examine, truly investigate, truly invest in, and truly appreciate each of those levels. And don't be in a hurry to go from one to the other, for each must have its timing in order to provide the proper foundation for the next. For without that glacier, there's no place for the water. And without that water, there is no atmosphere. And without that atmosphere, there is no life and no cycles. Allow yourself to truly live 
in each moment fully. Fully appreciating why it is there. Fully appreciating that learning process. And allow yourself through the process of your ascension, through the process of your expansion of energy, through the raising of your frequency in all endeavors that you undertake that are representative of your joy, your passion, and your excitement, to exercise what we will call the nine powers of your physical reality experience. Look to these powers. Utilize these powers. They are the power to perceive, the power to choose, the power to act, the power to experience, the power to reflect, the power to learn, the power to grow, the power to transcend. And perhaps in a sense for your physical reality experience, in some ways the most mysterious and powerful power of all, the power to forget. To have a clean slate, to start anew, so that you will have the experience of discovery in the utilization of these powers that exist within you that create your physical reality experience. Once again, the power to perceive, the power to choose what it is from what you are perceiving that represents what you prefer, your passion, your excitement. The power to act on that excitement, to act on that passion, to ground that energy to the earth, to anchor it to physical reality, to create, to create the power of your experience from that action. And from that experience, to reflect upon what you have created. And from that reflection, to learn and from that learning, to reinvent yourself, to grow. And from that growth, to transcend, to see from a new perspective, a new idea for new choices, new actions, new experiences, new reflections, new learnings, new teachings. And then, in a sense, while you have allowed that experience to transform you, to allow you to transcend to the level of the alchemist in that endeavor, the power to forget, in a sense, to go through the experience, the experience of experience, the experience of discovery, the experience of creation, again and again and again and again and again. Going from apprenticeship to adept to alchemist, again, in every new undertaking that seems fresh to you. That is a great power, the ability to make something seem like it's the first time, because everything exists already. Everything exists all at once. And the power to not know that is a great gift, a gift that allows you to experience creation as if for the very first time, and allows you to always feel new in the now moment and live in the present like it's never happened before. Which, from your perspective, it has not. For even though the structure exists, always has and always will, your perspective of it, your experience of it, your point of view of it, your unique interpretation of that structure is brand new. Every different perspective you have that uplifts you through those different stages from ice through water to steam. Every single one of those experiences adds to the greatness of all that is, adds to its experience of itself. Appreciate fully the ability to be an apprentice, to not know where you're going, to welcome the unexpected surprise, 
appreciate the experience of the adept that knows that life is all about the unexpected, all about timing, all about the freedom to choose. Appreciate the alchemist that is transformation itself so that you can learn, grow, and transcend to another level that will allow you from that level to cycle into something new and that you can continue to experience new things forever and ever and ever and ever without end for there is no beginning to end there is only now there are only different points of now different perspectives of now it's the same now just a different point of view of it and the ability to relish and cherish those seemingly new experiences those new perspectives is a great gift use that power fully the power to be new we will thank you now for allowing us to share that idea with you take it to heart take it in breathe it in make it your own exercise those powers fully and that appreciation fully in life and in return for the gift that you are giving us in interacting with you in this way on this day I ask now in what way may we be of service to you you may begin your sharing of questions if you wish <laughs>